Hi. So today is the 10th of January uh, 2018. So I really don't know what to talk about, to be honest. But perhaps I will just share to you um, my dreams. Dreams as in like not aspirations or my goals or my wishes no dreams as in you know things happening when you're asleep that kind of dream it's quite puzzling surprising um why i had the dream so i look it up in the internet what it means and well quite frankly uh it's closer to reality i mean the definition of or the interpretation of my dream so what was my dream? Um, I dreamed of being qualified um, in a beauty contest. This beauty contest is being annually held in my hometown, the Miss Dinagang. If you don't know about it, just look it up in the internet, okay? Um, yeah, and um, every year, the school that I went in, like my college or the university that I went in is um, conducting beauty pageants uh, different departments or let's say colleges are vying for the position of being the campus queen and king and whoever wins the competition will be sent to uh, try her locked lock sorry in Miss Dinagyang competition so that's my dream like I represented our college uh, in that competition the school competition and I ended up like the third um, it's not a final competition though um, it's like just a qualifying uh, round if I may say so I ended up as, as third so not bad and I felt really very happy that I was able to achieve that much so far and I Will be able to compete for the finals um i in my dream i told my mom about it and she has no idea how big the competition is like what is the gravity of me being able to qualify at least even like the third place okay so i i described to her what is the competition all about what will be the perks what will i win what will happen to me if i if i emerged as the champion and I showed her newspaper clippings and there's a video of me in the newspaper um, doing my um, talent talent <laughs> like I was singing in this national um, Ifugao dress it's really weird and I forgot what I was singing and my voice sounded like a little girl. <laughs> and yeah, and then I was really very happy and I strutted my way. It's really very weird because I strutted my way to the church in the most fierce cat fashion way. Like I'm really very happy. I was really very happy in my dream. Um, and then I woke up. So, what were the reali realizations? Well, first of all, of course, um, I look it up. I look the interpretation of my dream in the internet, and it sh it says that basically I'm I'm competitive. I'm competing with something or someone to see who's better. Uh, I have basically some goals that i wish to achieve that's why i'm in competition with myself those were some of the interpretations and i mentioned earlier that it is kind of true because indeed i am in competition with myself because i wish to achieve more i'm not getting younger i don't wish to compare myself with people at my age that they have achieved much they have businesses on their own they have basically have a lot of investments and assets on their name and stuff 
well in my case it's like so far I haven't achieved that much uh, <laughs> self pity alert now but then again I don't wish again to compare myself with other people because each and every one of us has uh, <clears throat> sort of their own journey to take it might my time might be different from yours but I hope that through perseverance, dedication, hard work, and all those positive stuff will be able to help me to achieve whatever I am aiming for. Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of true. I'm, I'm in competition with myself, internal competition going on. Yeah. And, of course, me being or having a very low self-esteem, I tend to compare myself with other people a lot physically um holistically yeah so basically the dream is just a reminder that you know i shouldn't compare myself or it's just a reminder that you're on the right track i really don't know i'm not a dream expert no i don't know how to interpret dreams that's why the reason i looked it up online to see what was that all about all of a sudden so random so random but it gave me the real realization that you know in a beauty pageant you are being judged according to your physical aspects first that's why you all have this different portions wherein you will be asked to wear some casual wear and strut your way into the stage and how you carry yourself and then there will be some swimwear. Well, I don't really understand why there's a swimwear portion. Maybe just for, you know, men to put their eyes on and to ogle on. I don't know. And then there's evening gown wear, wherein you will be asked to carry yourself uh, with composure while wearing this very heavy, uh, <laughs> uncomfortable, double gown with sequins and beads and whatnot and eventually um there will be like few women who will be chosen out of how many competitors and by then you will be judged not by your looks but how witty you are how smart you are in answering the questions so it got me uh thinking that you know in this life you will be judged first on how you look and how you carry yourself how you project yourself in the public the way you dress your posture okay the way you talk the way you walk your the way basically how you deal with people of different nature and by then, eventually, um, if they if they get um, to basically know you better, they will be able to pass that aesthetical part of you, and then they will get to know you better. They will talk to you more. They will be able to know who you are, your personalities, your likes, your dislikes, your moods. All right. So it got me thinking again that maybe. You know, I have to improve myself in a sense that I will project myself the way I wanted people to treat me. And then eventually, if they're really very interested, then, you know, they will be able to see the different side of me. Okay. As I mentioned in my previous videos, that we have different personalities and we adapt or adjust accordingly to whoever we are um, faced with like for example you do not simply act cookie and stuff in front of your boss right um, when you're in front of your parents you tend to be more respectful and team which when when you're with your friends you are a totally different individual right and when you're with someone you love it's a totally different persona coming out okay so yeah the world may be superficial that they can only see 
your beauty the outer um, aspect of it yeah but then again it doesn't last because you might be attracted to someone who's super pretty and beautiful and she dresses well and wears fancy clothes and stuff but eventually you will be able to discover who she is from the inside if there's someone in there inside okay how she is how she thinks how you know how she deals with the different um challenges i guess and how she is when confronted with um difficult situations so <laughs> that's so weird i don't know <laughs> and the the one of the weird things is um i was able to remember some details of my dreams so at least like this will help me to um basically go over if ever there are some episode of deja vu because i believe that deja vu happens because number one we have um our alternate selves in other universe because the universe is such a vast um space very inconceivable it's it's like um you will not scientists and um even persons like normal persons or even persons of higher intellect will not be able to understand how vast how big the universe is so i firmly believe believe that there's another universe out there there's another me out there who already experienced what i will be experiencing weird but possible uh or number two i have already dreamed about it and um it just came into reality so that's how i explain deja vu Oof, deja vu. yeah so i hope whatever i talk about made sense um somehow it inspires you i don't know in what way or in what sense but i hope that it help you whatever way okay and yeah we'll be talking more about a lot of stuff of course random stuff yeah so till then see you